hey guys welcome back to my channel um it's sophie here i am so so sorry for literally not being active at all on youtube i have missed it so so much but between finishing school and working i've been crazy busy um i've started going to the gym so much and i'm loving it um i've also i'm getting a pt which is gonna be so much fun um Honestly, I've got so much, so much to update you guys on and I thought, you know what, what's better than just to do makeup and just talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, also I'm going to do my next video as a Q&A to catch up with you all, which is going to be so cute. Um, I'm hopefully going out tonight. It is England playing. I don't know who they're playing against, which is awful, but I just want to go out, have fun, um, watch the game and just go for the atmosphere, you know? So yeah, that'd be exciting. Um, I've already done my brows and I have used Pears soap brows, which I absolutely love and just spoolie. So yeah, and they literally stay on all night. So I'm just gonna wait and then later on, I'm gonna fill it in. Um, my Morphe pencil, so cute. Um, oh God, I literally don't know what to start. Oh my God. Just had my dinner. So we're actually gonna get into my makeup now. Um, honestly, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, basically, me and my boyfriend broke up. So, that's been, um, a bit to deal with. Um, so technically this time of YouTube has been good for me. I've been able to, you know, properly get to be myself again before coming back on and like, I didn't want to give just rubbish content just because I needed to post something. Like I have filmed my look fantastic haul for June. Um and I've I've not posted it. I didn't I didn't feel like editing, I didn't feel like doing any of that. Um the video wasn't the best quality either so i'm definitely going to redo that and then put that out for you guys because i know some of you do really enjoy that um and obviously it is now july so my july one is coming it should come at some point next week um so i'll be filming them and they'll be going up within each like within a week of each other because i just know that some people have been waiting they've been like oh, why isn't she posted that and i'm like sorry about that huns but yeah honestly it's been manic um i don't remember when the last time i posted was and whether i spoke about how i'd left school um but yeah i just i was finishing my a levels and i had all my exams um so i was so stressed um so i didn't really feel like filming either which is understandable but I did feel like a bit of a letdown because when I was at school, like before exams, I was still posting. Um, I was still finding time to film. Like <sighs> I felt so guilty that um, when I'd left school, I just wasn't filming like at all. Um, yeah, I did feel really guilty, but looking back, I'm glad I didn't film because I'd be so annoyed at myself for putting out content that wasn't good um but yeah like moving on i am so much happier and just so glad to get back to filming and to also trying to post content on instagram regularly um because my boyfriend or well, my ex used to take all of my photos for me so i bought a tripod which is so exciting um and i was in leamington and i decided to take content and I had my tripod with me, so that was perfect. Um, so yeah, if you go and follow my Instagram, just up here, then you can see some of that content. It will be up very soon. Um, oh, what else is there to tell you? Oh, um, I did a modeling day in Liverpool, um, not that long ago and it was so much fun um, i don't know if any of you know but modeling has always been something i wanted to do um since such a young age but i just never got around to it because i had other things that i enjoyed doing like sports um so yeah i could not commit to like just trying to become a model at such a young age um so yeah i didn't bother with that <laughs> 
uh but yeah it was so much fun so i went to liverpool for the day wow i traveled up um the friday night i stayed in a hotel oh my god <laughs> Honestly, this is what happens when you don't concentrate. Oh, honestly, we'll fix that later. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I travelled down the Friday night. I stayed over. Um, and then on the Saturday, it was literally a whole day thing. It was so much fun. We went to the beach um, as well for a shoot. And honestly... I just love it like I just know that modeling is 100% something I want to do so that is very exciting that um what's it called I've had like some of the photos back and I've chosen the ones I want to um keep and edit um so yeah so exciting um they'll definitely be going on my Instagram when they are all ready um so yeah 100% make sure to follow so you can see what else has happened in my life Oh, um, we were supposed to have our year 13 prom, but obviously because of the COVID restriction, um, didn't get like lifted, um, we couldn't have it anymore. So it got cancelled, but luckily it's been moved. I'm not too sure if I'm going to go, um, at this moment in time because just a lot of things I'm not too sure about, um, so part of me does want to go, but part of me is, isn't too sure like i don't know i've not seen those people in so long i've not really stayed in touch with many people so it's a weird one um but yeah i also don't have a dress <laughs> um what else happening i feel like i've just been at the gym so much that nothing else has really gone in, on in my life um oh god honestly <laughs> I have become like really, really into the gym. I do go like near enough every day, which isn't good. It's not the best thing like when you get a bit like addictive and a bit obsessed with it because then I cancel plans just so I can go to the gym. <laughs> and even when I'm tired after work, I'll still go make sure I go to the gym, otherwise I'll feel like a bad person. Um but yeah, oh, the foundations I am using now is my Last Imperfection Collection one um, in the shade, I'm pretty sure it's Cashew, yeah. And then the Fit Me Maybelline in shade 115 Ivory. I've just mixed them together because I have tanned a little bit and this one is so pale without being mixed. So yeah, um, also, what's it called? I'm working tomorrow. And then I'm going to Plymouth for four days because I was supposed to be going to Greece with my ex-boyfriend. Um, and I was going to go on my own, but with it being on the Ambulus, I really don't want to have to isolate when I get home. I did try and look to go to Ibiza, but just no. Like, I'm just going to stay in this country for now, which I am very sad about. Um... And I, ju I just don't really know how to feel about going away this year. Obviously, let me know if any of you are going away um, to like greenless countries or even Amberlist. And like, let me know how stressful it is. <laughs> like we're coming back, like booking all the COVID tests. Um, because I definitely want to try and get out, like out of this country at some point this year. But I just know next week would not have been good. I would not have been prepared um but yeah so i'm going to plymouth which is so exciting like i've never been before i'm going on my own um which some people are like oh my god why are you doing that but like i feel like I, I i enjoy my own company a lot oh my god this foundation is so right <laughs> but yeah i enjoy my own company a lot now um and since me and my ex broke up like i've realized that and it is so much fun even just being on your own and just just doing what you want and like just being happy um so yeah one of the days i'm going to the aquarium and i'm not even finicky i am buzzing because who doesn't love an aquarium like zoos aquariums absolutely adore them <laughs> but yeah i will probably be editing this whilst i'm sat in plymouth like 
just on the day when it's like rainy because I looked at the weather and it's supposed to be raining so much when I'm down there. I'm absolutely fuming, but it's supposed to be raining back here home as well. So it's just nice to be elsewhere. Um, also, I'm going to try and get to the beach on the days it's not rainy because I have missed sand. I have missed just beachiness. <laughs> So yeah, that will be so exciting. Um, I would say give me some recommendations, but I'll be putting that on my Instagram because as I said, I'll probably be down there whilst I'm editing this. Um, but yeah, it'll be so much fun. Now I'm going to contour with my Morphe stick. Um, it is in the shade Effect 13. Um, honestly, I remember buying this because it was in the sale and I didn't know what it was going to be like. I really needed a cream contour, so yeah, but I'm enjoying it, it's fun, love it. Um, also though, if any of you have good recommendations of cream contour, please let me know, because as much as I do love this one, um, I just want to explore and look at some of the ones as well. I don't even know what I'm going to wear tonight, um, and normally I know, and technically i need to be rushing a bit so we can get out before the football starts so we can actually get into a pub um honestly it's a nightmare now i can't deal with it <laughs> i hate it oh imagine if it's like that summer it was like 2018 i think that was the year um when it was like the world cup love island was on everything was so good there was a heat wave that's the one thing we're missing this year a bloody heat wave like today i'm not being funny i was like, i was walking to work and it was raining like absolutely chucking it down like what is the need <laughs> it is july and it's chucking it down i was fuming like i had to get my winter coat out but then when i left work i put my coat on and it wasn't warm but it wasn't cold it was literally muggy and that's just that's just worse like that is awful so yeah i'm not i'm not enjoying the weather so that's why i wanted to get abroad this year but i'm not but something so exciting um next year i am going to ayanapa for a month um which I can't wait so I'm going to work whilst I'm out there so if any of you have had experience with like working out in um, a different country like bar work like waitressing and stuff like that then let me know I am so scared but I'm so excited like because I'll be going on my own so that is very very nerve-wracking um I will enjoy it I know I will and I'm gonna find some people that are going um, so maybe I can get flights out of other people because if I'm completely on my own and don't know who else is going, that is scary. <laughs> um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments or obviously just DM me on Instagram. Oh yeah, I am concealing with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 16. So yeah, loving life right now. Um, I also am using my BH Studio Pro contour palette, bronzer palette, not contour palette, but you know what I mean. God, I feel like I haven't done my makeup to go out somewhere in so long. This is honestly my favourite brush, like, beautiful. So, yeah. Oh my god, that's one thing I want to talk about as well. Um, i just seen as well on Instagram about Sid and Elle going their separate ways. If any of you guys watch them, please let me know what you think because I am absolutely shocked at this because I got from the video that they're not um, friends anymore either. And obviously, as Sid said, they've literally been best friends for 20 years. Um, to be fair, I have experienced a friendship that lasted the majority of my life and then um we went our separate ways um and that is heartbreaking but the fact now is that their friendship has been on the internet everybody watches them together i know i'll still be watching sid um on her own because i love her and if Elle carries on doing her own channel then i know i'll support her as well and watch her videos but it just came as such a shock like to the system I was a bit um I was just a bit taken aback by it to be fair 
like I knew I knew they were a bit quiet on socials but I didn't think that they'd like fallen out or whatever has gone on and I think from Sid's video you can't um I don't think you really get much about what happened like with their friendship which is fair enough because I wouldn't really want the like the end of my friendship with someone to go be like all over the internet as much as their life has been on the internet I used to want one that like some things you have to keep private but as I said like it was such a shock to me and probably to other people as well um yes next off I'm going to use my blush from Ted Baker um I need a new blush so as well like a like a stick blush so if anyone has one then please let me know how good it is because I just use this powder one and I don't want to like blush is something that I really like using but I don't want to buy it um unless I know it's going to be good I remember I got this one as like part of a gift set so that's why I've it that's why I use it <laughs> um yeah so um, I'm going to use my Doll Light Highlight in shade Shine Bright. It, this is insane. I first heard about this from Chloe Henry, um, like an influencer on Instagram. And she was raving about it. And so I thought like, I'll see what it's all about. And it is amazing. Like you literally don't need to use much. Like I've had this for so long. Um, and like, it is insane. Like look at that beautiful beautiful <laughs> so yeah i'm loving that um oh, i feel like i have something else to tell you guys but i just can't think of it so i've just got changed because my ring light just switched off and i got so offended and so annoyed um so i just got changed i basically finished my makeup now i just need to put some lipstick on i think i'm going to wear this top which is from zara and just these blue jeans which are also from zara um and some heels but i'm not too sure is this does this go is it a bit too casual is it a bit too dressy up i don't really know i am stressing right now because i need to go um also my eyelashes are by dolly's by abby insert here um but she's so amazing they are so cute i got hybrids living life <laughs> but yeah i am going to just go and put my lipstick on choose choose an outfit uh, so whilst i'm doing my lippy um i was just going to say um if any of you have any ideas of what like videos you would like to see next um because obviously i have a list but i'm not too sure which ones you guys would like to see um it's been a while so obviously the q a will be next um but you know like I'm trying to save my money so these hauls as much as I do enjoy doing them I know you enjoy watching them as well um I need to not do as many because trying to save for uni people like obviously I'm not going this year because I need to save but um I'm going next year and I just need to save oh my god that's what I've not told you guys so I passed my driving test um so amazing can't believe i did it <laughs> um i'm not the best driver um or parker actually <laughs> to say that um but i passed and that's all that matters um so yeah i am giving you guys all the good vibes because i know so many people are trying to do their tests right now and either they're failing or like they can't get a test um so i'm giving you guys all the good vibes right now so i really hope you all succeed um especially in your theory as well because trust me i struggled with that so much i hated it <laughs> but yeah um this lip liner i'm using is from primark i have no idea the shade i tried to find it the other day and i couldn't find it look how bad that is but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do and for purposes of this video i'm not going to overline my lips <laughs> So lipstick I'm wearing is Velvet Teddy MAC, such a basic girl lipstick, but I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. Also, right, I had the thought I really want to do a makeup artist course. 
Uh, and don't get me wrong, there are that many makeup artists out that I could not compete. Um, but even just to be able to do my own makeup, like, a lot nicer than now, like, that'd just be so much fun. And just doing my friend's makeup. In the first lockdown, I was going to buy, like, a gels, like, nail star kit. Because <laughs> I thought, you know what, I can just learn how to do it in lockdown. When we come out, I'm going to do it. Um, that didn't go to plan. But yeah. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, I am going to go now because I need to hurry up. Also, the lip gloss I just used is a Boots Own one, which is so cute. I don't know what shade it is in or anything, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I know it, this is probably going to be so messy. Um, and also, please leave in the comments what videos you want to see next. And I'm so sorry for being MIA on here um so yeah please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and i will see you all very soon